The Villains Open Beta begins, ELOA officially launches, all that and more, I'm Zach Sharps and this is Free to Play Weekly. To start us off this week, the free-to-play sandbox MMORPG by Sandbox Interactive called Albion Online started its closed beta. The cross-platform game will be in its closed beta for quite some time as Sandbox Interactive further fine-tunes the game in preparation for official launch. Those of you hoping to gain access to the cross-platform title either need to be lucky enough to obtain a closed beta test key or purchase one of the game's founders packs on the official website. Having played Albion Online myself, I'm highly anticipating the game's launch, but I still haven't purchased the Founders Pack due to my feelings toward that business practice, although it's very tempting. Trial and Rolls has been heading full steam ahead for a while now with its free-to-play MMORPG Devillion, and the floodgates will officially open on December 2nd with an open beta, then six days later on the 8th, founders will get to partake in the head start for launch, and then everyone else will be able to partake in the official launch on December the 10th. Seems odd to have an open beta that close to launch nowadays, with plenty of MMOs hanging onto the title for quite some time, but it does show that Trial and Rolls is treating it more as a stress test and are fully confident in the actual product. With Tryon's recent history, I hope that confidence results into a stellar launch. One can only hope. Those of you looking forward to the free-to-play Ghost in the Shell vs. Salt will be excited to hear that the shooter will make its way onto Steam. In vs. Salt, players will join Section 9, an elite force of cybernetically enhanced combat operatives responsible for protecting society and fighting cyber terrorists on the neon-drenched streets of futuristic Japan. Having played the title myself, it does seem like a fun shooter overall, but I wasn't really able to dabble much with the item shop or play it long enough to see whether or not makes you want to come back for more. If you do want to take part in the future beta test to see for yourself, be sure to sign up on their official website. I don't think it's an unpopular opinion to be dissatisfied with how Electronic Arts does their business. However, surprisingly at least one executive does hear our complaints. While speaking at last week's UBS Global Technology Conference, EA CFO Blake Jorgensen stated that monetization talk generally comes around after the game is made and after the company figures out how to keep the customer engaged. Jorgensen also acknowledged that there's quite a bit of consumer fatigue from players feeling like they're being nickel and dime by free-to-play titles and says his company is looking for ways to try and alleviate some of that fatigue. Being an EA stockholder myself, I could see that the methods they use work, in fact they work extremely well, however as a gamer I don't agree with the way EA does business and I see why many players have a big distrust with the company overall. It's time for the question of the week. Last week on the show, I asked you guys which free-to-play model was the absolute worst you've ever encountered and why. Many of you guys responded with Arc Age. I saw Allods Online pop up a bit, but a user by the name of KSeries1981 commented with a title I believe unscientifically on my ad, you guys picked the most. KSeries stated the following, Worst free-to-play title for me is Sortor. When you restrict simple things like chat and action bars, that just does it for me. Thanks for your guys' responses. This week, we shall put Put the publisher behind Star Wars The Older Public under a microscope with the following question. What are your guys' thoughts regarding Electronic Arts? Are they a good company for free to play, an in-betweener, a terrible company, or somewhere in between each of those? Curious whether or not your guys' feelings toward them have changed over the years or have remained the same. Last up this week, WebZen's anime-inspired ARPG-styled free-to-play MMO, ELO Way, officially launched, and they thought it would be great to celebrate a bit. Players during the launch event are asked to fill up a monster journal by killing different creatures found throughout ELO Way's world. Players that fill up an entire journal before the weekly maintenance on December the 28th will be rewarded with a reward box which offers a chance to acquire a unique pet. Among other things, ELO Way is also running an official giveaway which can net you some goodies and now that the game's launched I'll be checking it out further. What about you? You know what you should always check out? The giveaways page on MMOBomb.com of course. Check it daily and also be sure to follow all of MMOBomb's social media to ensure that you never miss breaking news in the free to play space. As for myself signing off until next week's free to play weekly, I'm Zach Sharps and I'll catch you guys next time.